Oh my god! What? Check that out! Someone was no. literally sleeping here! Kia, come! Kia, come! Kia, in! Welcome back to the channel. Today, Lamar and I have decided to take our new baby girl yeah. to one of the classics, Peggy's Cove. Can, can you see it? I don't know. Can you see it, guys? Can you see it? <laughs> you good? Can you see that? Uh, uh, oh, Lobo, no. I'm sure you can see it now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we don't know if Akia's ever been here with her past owners or her past life, but we decided it'd be a great way to have our first like family outing. Not first, but. Well, with her. Yeah, so every single time that we have come here, it's always been under construction. There has always been, exactly where we're standing, like a bunch of construction going on. And they've been building a new observation deck. It's uh, for people with mobility issues who can't do the rocky trail. So I'm a big fan of the accessibility part of this. Whoa. Yo, this is crazy. It's pretty so far. Oh wow, it's like a whole thing. Oh my god. Yeah. This is so great. Yeah, because I don't know if you guys have ever been to Peggy's Cove, but um, it's not very accessible for literally anyone who has any type of mobility issues um, or in a wheelchair, anything like that. So this new deck allows you guys to come and experience it just like everyone else. This is so dope. This is really nice. No wonder it took so long to mm, get. And you can still smell like the fresh like cedar of it. That is so cool. Wow, it looks beautiful from this view. It's a lot nicer now with the, the whole deck and everything. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Wow, this is actually so pretty. It's so well done. Beautiful. Oh, and it like loops all the way around. It does not get any better than this. Seeing the waves, hearing them. I like it. Only thing is that she hates water. The noise of the splashing is really getting to her. Remember at the waterfall? Yeah, oh yeah, that's true, eh? Yeah. So the thing with her, as a dog's natural instinct, they want to keep walking. Like their momentum just keeps going. So she's tugging me right now. For those of you guys who were mentioning the dog training, we're gonna go into serious training in about the next week. So for right now, she's enjoying her time doing whatever she wants but you're gonna be trained yes you are yes you are so in this vlog we're gonna be doing something that we have never done before as you guys love the last vlog with her and all that rando nautica adventure we thought we'd bring her back to the haunted bunkers and kind of see if she would catch on anything yeah and possibly check out the last bunker which we actually missed that last bunker mm -hmm. what if someone was living in there like yeah we didn't get like out there it. or something like that over here baby Good girl. over here baby and we're gonna see if she could actually pick something up. But uh, what was cool is that the other day I was walking her and this one guy, you could tell he was like bad news. She snarled at him. Really? Yeah, like she's, she loves people. Like, she loves people. people. She snarled at him like she knew he was bad. Yeah. Like there was something off about she's that guy. You for sure. So hopefully we could actually use her and see if she finds anything or picks anything up. We'll probably go in the daytime. Not at night. Yeah, definitely the daytime. But uh, yeah, in this vlog, we're gonna be doing that probably tomorrow. Today, we're just kind of chilling. What do you see, baby? What do you see, baby? Yeah, look at all the people. Look at all the people. So yeah, we're kind of kicking it over here. Probably haven't been here. Like, when was the last time we officially came here? Like when Angelo was, yeah. Like we did an investigation here at night time at like three in the morning or something like that was pretty late i don't know if it was three but the last time we were here was in september which was pretty crazy we've been here several times and maybe we'll go back and do another investigation back here 
the thing with this spot is that you got to go really late because so many people are always here and if you guys ever do come to Nova Scotia you guys got to check this place out I think I'm gonna hop into tomorrow go and check out those bunkers and everything maybe bring her like that was the real plan I know a lot of you guys wanted it on the main channel as a part five but I was like you know what let's go during the daytime you know I really don't want to bring her at Not nighttime because nice. it could be I don't dangerous, be dangerous for her. For her I don't want her to get attacked but at the same time I think she would be the one attacking somebody yeah and the weird thing about this path is that it's off a public path yeah you know what I mean so a lot of people during the daytimes walk up to it which could have been anybody doing a bonfire in there mm -hmm. but it's just kind of weird you know what I mean like the spots just weird let's just hop into tomorrow I'm actually very curious to see what's in that last bunker we didn't get a chance to do that if you guys paid attention all right guys so we made it to the bunkers now as I told you guys in the intro, we are basically bringing a key along here. See if she'll pick up on anything or anybody. What do you sense, babe? I don't like being here even during the day. I know, it's still weird, eh? You can just like feel the darkness coming from over there though. You yeah. know, like here during the day isn't as bad like this part, but as soon as you go looking there you can feel the darkness there she goes oh she's in there she's snooping it actually is a very weird feeling like i actually kind of feel like someone's here again she's very confident kia let's, let's see if she goes in that room on her own or let's see if, okay, if she avoids hey. it kia come here check in here babe Yo, this is sketch still. Uh, I don't like it in here. Even no, during it's... The day. It's not like as creepy, but... Still is a little bit creepy. What do you see there, babe? What, what do you there? see? What's over here, Akio? Come sniff over here. Oh, she didn't want it? She didn't want to be in there? No. What the hell? Whoa, weird. What? Kia, come. The way she backed up out of that. Come here. Come. come here, honey. Come here. Come here, babe. Let's look. Look. Come here. look. Look, honey. You want in there? No. And she really doesn't want in there. She's a pretty nosy girl. Like. She goes everywhere. Hey, look. That was why weird, you, why though. Why did she go in there on her own, you know? Yeah, and she's back out. She wants very little time in there. Yeah. What the hell is that about? I don't know. There is such a weird presence to this place. It almost feels like somebody's here. Like, not necessarily a human, but a spirit. I really hope you guys can feel that, too, because it's not a chill feeling, even in the daytime. No, she really didn't like it. We'll let her nose do the sniffing. See if she'll pick up on anything else. I'm kind of nervous to bring her to the other bunkers though. In case there is somebody there. I mean, should we put her on a leash or do you think? No, I just don't want them to hurt her if there is anybody there. I mean, I highly doubt it. Oh, I won't let anyone hurt her. I mean, she'll probably rip them to pieces if anything. She's not a vicious dog, she just, you know. When she's got to protect, she'll protect. She wants to go look at this one. I forgot about this one here. Something there? Oh, she's going. Smell anything? Look around, babe. Yeah, right out again. I probably cut a lot of that out, but she did not want to spend a lot of time in there, which was a little bit weird. Like there's something off about it. Come. I do feel a lot safer being here during the day. Yeah, I do too, but there still is a weird feeling about it. Yeah, like I, I'm still like mindful of our surroundings. I don't know if you guys saw our main channel video, but we got the legit sh scared out of us so bad. Yeah. Someone was messing around over here. Hence why we brought this girl along. 
She'll be our protection. She's loving it though. Yeah, she is loving it. It's actually her first time bringing her off the leash too. Actually, no. I did it three other times. <laughs> but like her first official on camera. So I'll mention this now since a lot of people have been saying her name wrong. We do have a nickname for her and I forget how we kind of came about it. But you guys can call her Diane if you guys want to. A lot of people thought it was a furniture store that we were calling her Ikea. Like the legit furniture store. But it's actually an A. Or you can call her Kia. Yeah. Or Diane. Come here, Diane. Come on, Diane. Come here, Diane. She's like, who the hell is Good Diane? girl. <laughs> That's her nickname. Good girl, Diane. That's a good girl. Maybe we'll let her lead the way. Yeah. I really hope we don't have to cut through like dense forests though like that. I know it's somewhere behind it, but there's water all over there, which is kind of, what the heck did you just see? I'm getting a headache though. What? I'm getting a headache. You're getting a headache? Yeah. Just started like right now when we Seriously. came close to this bunker. Kia, what do you see baby? What is it? Pretty girl. Yeah, wow, it's like actually a pretty wicked headache. Seriously, huh? Yeah. Whoa, she's leading us down this way. Yo, this is not a good feeling. It feels like, it feels like it's booted, this place. Yeah, it's almost like we shouldn't go down here. Alright, yeah, so... Yeah. I mean, she's definitely picking up on something. Over. What the hell? Good girl, Akia. Whoa. So this is the last one that you saw on the map, right? Yeah, this is the last one. This is the one we didn't really get a chance to go and check out. Thank you. I don't know. Go in, Kia. Oh my god! What? Check that out! Someone was no. literally sleeping here! Kia, come! Kia, come! Kia, in. Oh my god. Babe, someone was legitimately sleeping here. Look, she doesn't even want to be in she here. She doesn't want to be anywhere near here. And there's a twisted T. Look at that. Oh, you're right. Kia! Sniff around, babe. Do you see anything? It's like she literally doesn't want to be near it. Like, she's not even looking at it. She just is looking at the door to get out. Yeah, she doesn't want to spend much time in here. Watch, watch her. I mean, she's sniffing. Who is sleeping here, Kia? What do you smell? What if there's like yeah. drugs on that or yeah, something? Yeah, we should probably be careful. Yo, there's, I think there's something in it. What? The hell is in that? I don't know. There's I don't even want to touch no, that. There's something stuffed down in there. Seriously? Look, she doesn't even want to be in here. Kia. The hell? Yo. She legit doesn't want to be in here. What's wrong, babe? You don't want to be in here? I'm telling you, there's something off about these bunkers. And this is half full. No. Hold that. Seriously, half full. Dump it out just to show everybody. And that's still a twisted tea. It's not like... Look. Oh my god. Like I'm telling you, it's half full. Now it's empty. So like someone was here recently. Yeah, recently. Someone just opened that too. Okay. Oh my god. What if someone's coming back? Honestly, I don't think we should ever actually come back to this spot to film again. Holy shit. I'm so confused right now. I know. What if this was the person that was fucking with us in the shed the other night? Yes, you are. She's such a beggar. Yeah, she is. <laughs> come on, Kia. Oh my oh. gosh. Okay, come on, honey. Have come, a good one. come. Oh my gosh, she's leaving now. Kia, come. Akia, okay, come on, hun. If you guys didn't know, Akia is a fiend for the treats. And she is a major beggar as well. Even at the dinner table, she's like all up in her business. Yeah, but we gotta work on that. Yeah, we still have a lot of training to do. At the end of this week, we're gonna be doing a lot of serious training. 
What I've noticed too is that so many people walk this path in the daytime. Yeah, it's true. So like, look, so many dogs, so many people. She did so good though. Yeah, she did do right I didn't that. think there was gonna be a real path leading up to that. Me neither. It didn't look like that from the map. She like smells it out right away. Oh yeah. I think I caught her like staring dead down there. Kia. Kia, back on the path, hon. Good girl. No, Dad, I'm an adventure dog. Yo, that actually like, like made my blood boil for a sec. You know, like seeing that sleeping bag. I know, it just like confirmed things, you know? Like, yeah, like it wasn't spiritual. Maybe some of it was. Yeah. But definitely some of it was because what else do you explain me like throwing up and stuff? No, like you know? I know I know there there definitely was some spiritual stuff, 100 percent Like there's no way that scratching on the shed was a spirit. Like it no, was just too was... clear, too fast. Sometimes it takes a lot of time to catch the paranormal, right? So I think whoever was living in that shed was the one who was messing around with us. Do you think it like Whew, it's it making us? my blood like boil? Pardon? Like, do you think it they knew we kept coming back? I don't know, but they were sleeping there. Yeah, definitely. Probably within the time that we were there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> like that—that's almost like a like a not chill feeling. No, I don't. I don't want to go back there knowing that like it's an actual person. You know. I would prefer a spirit over an actual person. Man, it is cold. Ooh, it's like in my face. My ears, holy smokes. So this girl here is pooped out. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's done for. She I took her on a really long one this morning though. Oh, I thought that what was, was that? her, it's just the wind. Yeah, she's gonna sleep well tonight. 100%. She's already sleeping. Is she? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So these bunkers have some sort of weird secret to them. Like, I, I truly feel like there's a portal in there. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, someone is using these for their own little use. What if you know? that person who's living there is the one doing the rituals? And that's why he's living there, so he can do the rituals more often. Yes and no, but why would you be doing that in a cold? I you mean, know, like, it, yeah. like I can't feel my face. Like this, this person was definitely prepared to sleep out here. Yeah. You know, which raises a lot of questions, right? There could be a million reasons why. You just have a wicked headache still. Really? Mm -hmm. Still? Yeah. Like from the moment you step foot. Near that bunker, yeah. Like it's just like yeah. pounding. I know a lot of you guys wanted a part five on the main channel. But we kind of were, you know, taking stuff into consideration. Like, our own safety goes hand in hand with this spot. Like, should we put our lives at risk just to go back and, you know, see what's up? Like, we don't know if this person's going to snap or mm. if he would ever hurt somebody. And we would be the only ones there. out there. You know what I mean? So, I kind of thought we would come and check it out in the daytime, which was safer. Still felt weird, like, spiritual-wise. But it felt but, safer, like, having other people on the path, too. Yeah. You know, so. It's kind of odd like the past week especially when i've went alone it's just been so weird and none of these people that we ran into know and i'm like should we tell them like what's yeah, up we don't I, want to scare them i guess yeah but like how would you say that like like okay we're playing a game <laughs> like you're not gonna believe this but like legitimately it happened mm -hmm. you know what i mean like how do you explain this to people who don't know what randonautica is like how do you do it like, i don't know you can't I truly don't think the person living there was out to kill anybody i mean maybe he was just yeah. like all oh, these people there and they're scared like let's just go and mess with them yeah i guess we'll never know though unless we meet that person we'll it's never just, know what his intentions were or whoever it was their intentions i know it's just weird like i almost don't want to go back like, i'm sorry i know a lot of you guys wanted a nighttime run for a part five but i think it's safe to say we'll just leave it at that and Mm -hmm. Like, we've already had this shit scared out of us. Like, I went alone. Like, I'm not even playing. Like, I don't even want to go back with people. Even mm -hmm. if it was, like, a group of seven. Like, and that's the thing, too. Like, we don't have any friends out here at all. Yeah. You know? So, when she doesn't want to come or if she's busy, I legitimately have to go by myself. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to put big girl Diane in danger, right? So, yeah, with that being said, I think I'm going to wrap this up. This has been 
a really weird series, which I'll leave down below if you guys haven't seen the videos. I want to get the heck out of here. It's cold. I can't feel my face. Thanks again for tuning into this one. I mean, we probably would have stayed a little longer if it wasn't as cold. And it's safe to say I'm pumped for the summertime. Oh my gosh, yeah. Also, one last thing before we do go. That car is gone. It's gone. Oh yeah, you're right. Like the one that's been here for about seven days. And every it's single time gone. we came, yeah, it's gone. Hmm. What the hell? What if that person was the one in the shed with True. the sleeping bag? True. You know? Yeah, and that was their car. Yeah. True. Raises a lot of questions. But yeah, I think uh, we should get the heck out of here, warm up. Yeah, we're probably not going to come back here on the main channel. We're going to do some other things and bring you guys to some new places. I just don't think we should put our lives in danger anymore. <laughs>